So tell me, what was it that attracted you to this building in particular? I think at uh, that time, Anthony and I had decided to start a new business, um, slightly different to what we normally do, and to focus on older property that need that have been neglected that could be brought back to life and specifically um, old buildings that could convert into beautiful apartments probably aimed initially at the, the downsizing market of people who've been used to big homes with grounds but who wanted a, a, a little bit um, of, of a downsizing situation where where they still had large rooms still had beautiful gardens but they didn't have the, the, the responsibility and work in, involved in running a big house. So that's when we started to look and I noticed this building and we bid for it. And initially we didn't get it, we, we, we didn't bid high enough. So, but that, the first sale fell through, so we bid again a bit higher. And we came back to see it. The first day we'd seen it, it was beautiful coming up the drive and the beautiful bluebells everywhere. And we loved the place on a beautiful sunny day. Then we put in a higher bid and we came back to see it on a rainy day. And I was kind of thinking, I, I rather hope we don't still love it so much because I put in this quite high bid and we walked up the driveway on a pouring damp day and we still loved it. So we decided we had to, had to do it. So even a bit of a roller coaster ride for yourselves when first buying the property. Well, one of the, one of the other difficulties was that um, we had to be able to see beyond where it stood, because as as we may look at later, um, it had been commercially maintained. It had had a lot of very interesting divisions and subdivisions internally. So you walked into a tiny room and there was a big grandiose fireplace in there. So we had to look beyond that and see the original characters and volumes of the spaces and you know, as Yvonne's touched on come up the drive and there's a there's an ambience about the site and the location that's that's quite special it's it's not like something that you necessarily experience everywhere you go and we were we were quite drawn in by that weren't we and particularly when you're here seasonally as we have been through the design and development process the site is it offers you something different every season which is which is quite quite amazing really um, and it was such a shame as well because i'm right i think it had been it had been vacant for for many years yeah it it had been it had been vacant for not that long actually it had been vacant for about six months when we found it but it had been in a in a non-residential use for some time and inevitably the compromises are made and again, yeah they'd, they'd not been sensitive in their use mm -hmm. um where they'd needed a partition, they'd put one in. Where they needed some pipe work to go, they'd put some in. But we could we could practical see practical rather than aesthetic. Yeah, we could see behind all of that that it was still there. And and that one of the real initial design drivers when we were walking around was the first thing we did as we walked around was was quite literally draw on the plans the estate agent had given us, everything that had been added. And the first job was start again. Go back to where it was when it was conceived and built because we know those rooms will be proportionally correct, the features in them will be proportionally correct, they'll have picture frame views, etc. So let's go back there as a starting point for the design. And we could sort of, and, and we knew we were gonna have a complicated planning process, but at least we could get our teeth into the fact that there was something under the surface of this that was still there. So you're almost going back to the original architect's vision? Absolutely. Except originally it was a, it was a manor house rather than apartments, but uh, we, it's now it's now going to be ten apartments, so or eight apartments and two coach houses. So it's uh, you know it's it's going back to its original beautiful dwelling place.